Hey everybody, Peter Gilmore here on a late Friday night, right here on Metal God 669. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below. You know what to do. That's it. I'm not even going to say everything else. So like, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell. You know what to do. That's all I got to say about that. Alright, I didn't think I was going to make a video on this channel anytime soon, but uh, my last my last two videos, uh, my, uh, Kama my video on Kamala dying, which was last week, uh, got a lot of, not decent views, not bad, my, uh, ex my, uh, my video just a couple days ago on Xavier from Ring of Honor, getting, uh, span of almost five days, getting close to 600 views, thank you for that. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to do another video this week on the, on the Metal God channel. But, I, I went on Facebook. I just, I just, you know, I got home a little while ago. I had dinner, just finished watching SmackDown. Go do my SmackDown uh, review in just a little bit after this video. So check it out on uh, on the Killer Demons 669 channel. But, I went on Twitter and scrolling through my news feed... And I see that I see this. Well, I, this is I'm taking this from. I see this, and I, I I see something on on um Frankie Benali, who is uh was prominent drummer for the band Quiet Riot back in the late '70s, early '80s, through the reincarnations of Quiet Riot in the '90s and 2000s. But I'm sad to report this has happened. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet Riot drummer Frankie Benali has passed away at the age of 68 uh, due to uh, stage 4 pancreatic cancer, which spread to his liver, and he was given six months to live. He, uh, you know, uh, this, you know, he was diagnosed on April 17th of last year, but he kept it quiet till October of last year. I was kind of candid about his prognosis, and he looked pretty good. I mean, for a guy that has stage four pancreatic cancer, he looked pretty good. He was in high and good spirits the last time I, um, you know, saw him on TV and, 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 and uh, you know on any in interviews or anything. Um, but you know, stage four. When you know, and you hear stage four or stage five cancer. You know that you know it's just a matter of time before, you know, it, ha it you know you you know you you're gone. That basically stage four, stage five, you're basically gone. There's slim to none chance you you'll survive. But so Frankie uh, battled this for a whole year, and. He said he had six months to live. He lasted longer than that. So he kind of exceeded the doctor's expectations. But, like I said, sadly, he has passed away at the age of 68. Uh, and the news came out about a few hours ago. Uh, I'm just getting this news now because I was at work. So I, I, I didn't even bother to look at my phone or well, get a notification or anything. Uh, so this sta the statement, I'm reading this from loudwire.com. Uh, I'll put the link to the, uh, to the story down below in the description box. Which I keep forgetting to do, but it is what it is. Uh, the news came from a statement from Benali's wife, Regina, who says, and I, and I quote, He put up an ins inspiringly brave and courageous 16-month battle to, to the end and continued playing live as long as he could. You know, that's something. You have stage 4 cancer and you're still playing? Wow. That's dedication, my friend. I mean, Ozzy has Parkinson's disease and we don't know what's going to happen. What's what's going to happen if he's going to go back, going to come back live on, uh, you know, in 100%. We don't know with Ozzy right now. But we'll see what happens in the next coming months and maybe going into next year. If Ozzy uh, comes back and goes on... What looks to be his final tour. 
the farewell tour, as a uh, lot of people calling it, but or the, the what do they call it, the No More Tours Two tour. They'll never seen ever with Ozzy, you know. Ozzy will will say goodbye, and then he then like two years later, he's like, I fucking go, I have nightmares. I can't stay home. I need to go on the road, Shannon. I need to be with my fans, Shannon. You know, I you know Ozzy will make another record, come back, go on tour to he's like eighty years old. He said it himself way back when. He said he will. He will rock out until he's in a fucking wheelchair. And he'll be on... He'll even do a concert in a wheelchair. I would love to see that. But, you know, not seeing him at 80, 80, 85 in concert, I don't think that's going to be a good idea, but... You never know with Ozzy, you know. But it is what it is. So, uh... Uh, so he... Uh, Frankie Benali battled for, six, for like a little over a year... Almost a year and a half, basically. Uh, Standard chemotherapy stopped working on a working, and a series of strokes made the continuation of on a clinical trial impossible. I think he had a stroke a couple of days ago. Um, he ultimately lost the fight at seven eighteen p.m. on August the twentieth in Los Angeles, surrounded by his wife and daughter. Uh, if you want to know some backstory uh, for those of you who don't know who the hell this guy is. Uh, not a fa he was not a founding me me member of Quiet Riot. He didn't debut until the third album. This is and this is with, with, um, when Quiet Riot first came out with Randy Rhodes on guitar before they got the guy they have now. I forgot his name. Um, uh, he he uh, which he he debuted on the the great metal album 1983, Metal Health. Uh, which went to number one on the on the was the first metal album to go number one on Billboard, and he contributed to twelve to a total of twelve of the group's records. Uh, he also was in Wasp, playing drums on seven albums, including the standoff efforts, the Headless Children in eighty nine, and the Crimson Idol in ninety two. Uh, and that's basically a, some. Um, so yeah, he was still in. A quiet riot. Sadly, we lost Kevin Dubra Kevin Dubrow, a uh, Dubro, I should say, a uh, while, a uh, while, a long time ago. One of the prominent metal singers of all of the eighties. You know, you think you think of freaking frontmen. You think of like Joe Elliott from Def Leppard, John Bon Jovi. You know, Ozzy. You know, you know, um, Br Brian Johnson. Ew. You know, stuff like that. Guys like that. Prominent metal, classic rock frontman. This guy, I mean, Kevin Dubrow was great. A great a great singer, a great... I never met the guy. I wish I did. And I never met Frankie Benali. You know, he was on that metal show a few times. Never, you know, but most of the time with... Uh, I think they were doing it in California, I think, the last time he was on. It would have been nice for him to be, you know, at that metal show continued on, but that sadly is not there anymore. And, you know, thanks to VH1 going completely go goodbye bye. And I, I wish that metal show like, came back on Sirius XM radio or, you know, well, can't put it on MTV because MTV is now RTV, reality television. Because that's what MTV doesn't show videos, except if you're on MTV Classic. They have VH1 Classic back, I think, or something. They have some channel that, that has all the VH1 stuff. It's not VH1 Classic. It's MTV Classic, I think. Something like that. But, yeah, I mean, just just sad. And, um, like I always say with these videos, uh, we never know when... Our, fi our final day will come when the good Lord upstairs will call us. Could be today, could be t could be tomorrow, could be the next day, could be next week, two months from a month from now, two months from now, two years from now, twenty years from now. But you know, you know, Frankie, Frankie, uh, battled hard. He still played, even though he was very sick. And God bless the man. God bless him. One one of the prominent 
drummers in metal. You know, you got Neil Peart, Peart of Rush, who passed away, I believe, last year. Uh, I got Lars, how are you doing there? My, my name is Lars Ulrich. What do you think about that, James? Yeah, yeah. No. You got Lars Ulrich uh, from Metallica. Uh, you had um, Phil the Anth Animal Taylor of Motorhead. Ace of Spades got a mort in my face. You know, with uh, with Lemmy, uh, who passed away a couple years ago. Uh, Fast Eddie Clark so the basically the entire f lineup of Motorhead. Goodbye. So, I don't think we'll ever ever see the day ever see anything with Motorhead unless they like un un uncover like lost tapes and stuff like that. We'll see maybe see the lost tapes of Motorhead, or maybe another something with Lemmy that we haven't seen before. But you know, but he was you know Frankie was up there with with Lars with with Neil Peart. And with 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 uh, Phil the animal Phil the animal Taylor and other prominent uh, uh, drummers in the eighties, not so much the uh, quite quite right was prominent in the eighties when Mental Health and then Condition Critical and um, Quiet Riot Three, you know stuff like uh, those kind of out al those albums back in the early eight like the early the mid the, the late eighties. Uh, didn't hear really from them in in the nineties, and then Kevin Dubrow sadly passed away around the early nineties, early two thousand, I think. So we really missed the guy. I mean, one of the prominent frontmen of metal. He was a freaking animal. He always butted heads with freaking Frankie, but you know. And now, and now Frankie is banging, you know, banging those skins, banging those drums with Kevin with. With Randy, so like three thirds of the original uh, Quiet Riot are uh, well, not the original Quiet Riot, like well, uh, uh, well, two thirds of the uh, of the of the original Quiet Riot is uh, in heaven now. Randy, Randy Rose, and Kevin Dubrow, and then you know you throw in uh, Frankie Benali on drums. You have a you have a pretty good uh, you know band. You know, put 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 a um, Lemmy on bass. You know, got a pretty good super group. That's not not bad, but that's all I gotta say about that. So let me know, let me know the, your thoughts and opinion and uh, opinions about Frankie Benali of Quiet Riot, uh, who has passed away at the age of sixty eight to pancreatic cancer. Fucking cancer! Fuck cancer! Damn it! You know, I think we, I'm going to have two hashtags, you know, on, on Twitter that should go viral. Hashtag fuck cancer. Hashtag fuck this virus. And by the way, I don't know if you see that. I got my flu shot today. Surprisingly, I, have, I haven't, you know, got any, you know, sick from it. You know, usually I get my flu shot. I feel like, like I'm about to throw up. You know, I'm, I, might, I might get that later on. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. So, as I leave, I'm going to take my ceremonial toast. It's Frankie Benali, quiet right. Bang those skins in heaven, my friend. And tell Randy Rose and Kevin I said hello. Cheers, my friend. All right. Thank you all for watching the video. Leave me your thoughts and opinions about Frankie Benali, and if you like, if you've heard Quiet Riot, you have any memories of Kevin DeBrow, of Randy Rhodes, of Quiet Riot yourself, like your favorite song from Quiet Riot, besides the obvious ones, Metal Health and Bang Your Head. There are others. There are others that they had. Party All Night, Condition Critical. You know, they had some pretty good stuff. You know, um, Come On, Feel the Noise. You know, prominent, like those, really those three songs, Metal Health, Bang Your Head, Come On, Feel the Noise, and, uh, you know, we're, we're probably the, the best, the top three songs from, of of Quiet Rise career. And then, you know, the, the lesser songs that really didn't get any airplay or any uh, 
you know, that, not that much on 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 um, VH1 or MTV. Party all night, condition critical, stuff like that. You know, but Quiet Riot was a good band. I don't know if they, if they, they I think they're still around, but they have a different singer. I think they, they I don't, I don't know if um, Rudy Sozo is still playing with them, the bass player. I think he's doing his own thing now. I don't know if the guitarist is still there, who was who who uh, took over for Randy uh, in the er, in the late in the early eighties. I don't know if he's still still there or not. And now they got now Frankie has died. I don't know if they're gonna continue on with a new drummer. I don't think they should. I mean, I mean, I think Frankie would you know. He's looking down, and, you know, if Quiet Riot wants to continue with another album or another tour, you know, and they bring in, like, a prominent drummer, like, a well-known drummer, like, maybe Jeff Fab or something like that. Because he's on Black Label Society. I mean, why not go to Quiet Riot? You know, gives, gives you something else to do. But, I mean, if they continue on, you know... I might go see them and just, you know, just for nostalgic reasons and just to sing Come On, Feel The Noise, Mental Health, and, and Bang Your Head. And that's that, but, you know, I'll miss, I'll miss Kevin singing the songs. I'll miss the, the, the beating, the, the, the heavy beating of uh, Frankie. And, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really know Quiet Ryan until Mental Health, so. Because I, I, you know, I seen videos of Randy doing solos in the early versions of Quiet Riot. You know, before he joined Ozzy and really took Ozzy's career from the gutter to the highest of highs and then sadly he uh, killed himself around the same, around, the, around um, 83, 82, 83, maybe 80, no, 82, 83 I think it was. It was 82, 83 because uh, it's been a long time since he's he's been, he's passed on, really long time. Uh, we just celebrated D uh, Dimebag Daryl's birthday, so happy birthday to Dime! Get your pull, motherfucker! Yeah, you know I just I just watched this. Uh, you take this love, you know, on um, on YouTube, you know, seeing Dime play that play that riff and that solo is just fucking amazing. Dime was a gr Dime is Dime is you know you think of think of prominent guitarists like Hendrix. You know, uh, Jimmy Page, uh, Zach Wild, and Eddie Van Halen. You put Dimebag probably in that top ten best fucking guitars. You put David Gilmore in there from Pink Floyd. Gotta put him in at least in the top ten. I might do a video uh, later on, uh, not later on, probably in the future. Uh, my top ten guitarists of all of, of you know all time and maybe into today, you know stuff like that. I'll throw in Chris Holworth, Randy Whitesell, you know Blake Bunzel, who's all three of them are highly underrated guitar players. But I digress. So that's that. So leave me your thoughts and opinions about Frankie Benali and Quiet Riot. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna put this video up, and then I'm gonna do my my uh, SmackDown review, and that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So thank you for watching. Rest in peace, Frankie Finale. Bang those skins in heaven, my friend. I miss you. I'll see you when I see you. I'm out. Peace. Rock on.